So what do you guys think of this? This is a beautiful 2021 Thor Aria motorhome. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, this is a class A diesel pusher. It says a 360 horsepower Cummins. Huge 22 and a half inch commercial wheels and tires. They are Alcoa wheels. Let's take a quick look at it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, so big disclaimer. Um, I actually was out here to film a different unit and I saw this, so I figured I'd just do a quick walk around. This is not typically what I feature on my channel. I've done class A's before, but typically I'll have someone with me who knows all the details. I know there's a few channels out there that do a lot of content on these, like Matt's RV Review. He probably would be a better source for something like this simply because he has all the information in front of him. I don't on this unit. However, I did wanna give you guys a nice cool walkthrough of what this unit's all about. Full body paint, I'm gonna guesstimate that this is gonna be about 38 feet long. I believe, and I could be wrong, it's either gonna be on a Spartan or a Freightliner chassis. Um, one way you can generally tell, and again, I don't know for certain, but underneath here you can see the pass through and you can see the frame rails and i believe that is a spartan chassis feature but maybe somebody can chime in on that you have your propane tank up here you have more storage back here just check that out huge huge storage areas underneath this unit i would kind of prefer that those trays be on all of these main slides then back here you have your wet panel, you have your water filtration system, outside shower, all your knobs, your sewer connections would connect underneath the bottom here. And you do have hydraulics on this so you can raise and lower the suspension, which is nice. But that seems a little difficult to me. Coming from the fifth wheel world where your sewer connections come out the side and you can kind of angle your hose down, this one seems like it might be a little bit more challenging because you'd have to essentially run your hose outside of the bottom of this unit. What do you guys think about that? What's your experience if you have a Class A? And again, you have the huge 22 and a half inch Alcoa wheels with Michelin tires. It says Freightliner, so I imagine this is a Freightliner chassis. Over here, you have your def fill, which is pretty cool. And then back here, you have a little bit more storage next to your surge guard power protection transfer switch. And then you have a four battery battery bank back here. Huge doors. One thing that's always interesting to see is the different use of materials in something like this over a fifth wheel. Typically everything here is gonna be, you know, fiberglass over foam. Whereas over here, a lot of this is actual sheet metal and steel and aluminum. Solid one-piece fiberglass back cap, nice LED lighting, nice LED lighting back here. Of course, this is rated to tow a vehicle. You have your receiver hitch, power connection for trailer brakes and all of that stuff. Here's the back of your diesel engine. Again, 360 horsepower Cummins diesel. On this side, on this side, you have more storage and then you have your inverter, solar charge controller. A lot of power management going on down here. You have more batteries, so you have two more batteries on this side. I can imagine that some are gonna be for the house and some are gonna be for your engine. Giant cricket right there, standing guard. And this side is gonna be your fresh water storage. Back here. More storage underneath. Another large storage area. This one looks sealed off a little better so you could keep coolers and other things like that. And then, and then your generator for this unit, as is typical with most large class A's, will be a tray that actually slides out this way and will be up front. So it's a lot easier to service and it pretty much comes out so you can get all the way around it, which is really cool. You can see the LED accent trim right there as well as your headlights huge awning over here also has a huge slide top awning which is actually larger than the extendable awning and then you have another awning here above the front entry door you have electric steps that pop out really cool light up handle right here let's step inside of this 3901 thor motor coach 
really thick heavy duty door very typical on these large class a's check out the step up to get into this unit nice solid surface or solid steps right here another really cool grab handle you have some buttons right here as well control your house battery entry lights the steps and then you have an area right here for your awnings check out this windshield up front you can barely get it into the camera frame and then you have a large screen slash day night roller shade that will cover this area up pretty much all of these higher end coaches are moving to this really cool kind of computer graphic display for all your information very very cool setup of course this does have air brakes air suspension and then your leveling systems right here you have more controls right here your gear selection is right here so drive neutral reverse it's all in your column shifter which is super interesting very different a lot of space up front a lot of visibility but you're talking about a unit that's also extremely wide the information on the unit is right here so 2021 this has the fr 35.3 chassis with the 360 horsepower cummins diesel engine you can see the msrp on this unit is three hundred and forty one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars so this is a pricey unit you still get good discounts off of these so don't think that that's what you're going to pay but you're talking about a unit that's you know a third of a million dollars so these are definitely going to be out of the price range of a lot of folks, but still something people consider, especially if you're looking at, let's say, a $150,000 fifth wheel and a $100,000 truck. You might actually be looking at something like this as an alternative, and it's something to think about. has a bed that lowers down right here, and it's a pretty good size bed. I'd imagine it's a full-size bed when it drops down, so that's really cool. Lots of cabinets. Typically the build quality of a lot of the materials in these, especially in this price range, are gonna be pretty high. So a lot of the stuff is gonna be solid wood. A lot of it's going to be, you know, real hard materials as opposed to fake stuff. You can see the floor in this unit is actually a tile laid floor with grout. You have a nice love seat here. This will convert into a bed. And then you have theater seating right here. Your TV in this unit is on a televator, so it's right here. Lots of cabinetry, lots of lighting in this coach. A lot of people are gonna be really happy to know that I can actually call this a coach. Stepping back, everything is fully ducted and they're all whisper quiet. And what's interesting is you have this here, but then you have another TV right here. And this slide isn't fully extended, so you don't have full access to it at the moment. All day night roller shades. I'm not a big fan of the valances. It's kind of a weird 60s look to me to be honest really nice dinette area booth style this turns into a sleeping area huge kitchen and then this is also going to pull out so you have the ability for this to come out to about here and it's going to give you a really nice countertop space off to the side lots of drawers and check that out that's crazy you have a remote here it looks like it actually came off the wall this is supposed to be attached to the wall. Probably just needs a new battery. Nice dual basin stainless steel sink. Again, these valances are kind of creeping me out. Really cool high-end Whirlpool microwave. Has an induction cooktop. Has a General Electric or GE full-size residential refrigerator that is currently on. Coming back. You have these really cool pull-out spice rack storage areas. On this side, you have your half bath, huge medicine cabinet area, really nice wallboard design. That is a porcelain toilet, stainless steel sink basin, a lot of room, that's a good size half bath. You have your touch screen right here, very similar to what was in the beacon. Now check this out. So this is gonna be your bedroom area. This is on a slide and that's on a slide. Look how much room it gives you. I mean, this is huge. This is much larger than what you typically see in a fifth wheel, unless you have dual opposing slides like this. But you can see king size bed, 
well it's actually tilted up so the bed would actually come out a little bit more probably to here but you'd still have a lot of room nightstands on each side this massive sliding door closes off the front from the back you have some artwork in place you have the wayne's coat already around the bottom you're gonna have your washer and dryer inside here and they actually put a whirlpool stackable unit in here which is different typically you see the splendid model you have your tv already mounted in here as well as more wardrobe storage down here more wardrobe storage on the bottom you know i gotta admit there is not as much wardrobe storage as i thought there'd be you got a good size area in here And more of your controls. These are all battery controls. Coming into the bathroom area. Gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom. Of course, it's going to have a one-piece shower stall system. Has twin vanities, twin sinks, nice stainless steel basins, as well as a porcelain foot flush toilet. Tons of room inside of here. And this would actually access the top of your engine, I believe. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit. And that is a seal right there if I've ever seen one. There's your Cummins. More cabinet storage over here. Lots of, lots of medicine cabinet storage in this unit. And then more storage here, which is on a nice sliding drawer. Nice drawer right there as well. Very cool. What do you guys think about this? I know I don't do a lot of motorhomes and I'm probably glancing over all sorts of different features that you guys might be interested in looking at. But for $341,000, you know, roughly, I don't know what the sale price on something like this would be, but I could imagine it would be significantly less. Do you guys think it's worth it? Would you rather get a, you know, real high-end fifth wheel and a really high-end pickup truck? or is something like this more practical? And always keep in mind, you probably would still have to get a towed or a tow vehicle that you'd put behind it and haul around with you because this isn't practical to get to an RV campground, get everything connected, and then you know have to disconnect it if you wanna run into town for something. So a lot of people get these, but they'll put a vehicle behind it. Anyways, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.